Hey, how's it going, everyone? Look at me on a different channel and everything. How are we all? I hope you're all ready for some blood on the clock tower. Oh my god, that's loud. Calm down, YouTube. There we go. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, if you don't know who I am, then uh, my name is Ben Burns. Uh, I run blood on the clock tower, and that's what we're about to do right now. Um, we're going to run some trouble brewing, which is the kind of the beginner script. So this script is, is aimed at um, introducing the game to a new audience, which you guys are. So if you don't know what Blood on the Clock Tower is, then uh, it's a social deduction game. It's like a, a supernatural murder mystery game where a small number of players will be evil and a large number of players will be goodies. I'm sure many of you played Werewolf or Town of Salem or whatever. But the way this game differs is that there's no elimination. So when you die, your role's not revealed. You still take part in the game. You still win or lose with your team. And players can be made drunk or poisoned by various evil players in the night. And when a player is drunk or poisoned, when I wake them up, instead of telling them the truth, I will lie to them and feed them false information. Uh, I like to say it kind of puts the, the social back in social deduction. Uh, but anyway, the proof will be in the pudding, and I'm going to be kind of explaining everything that I do while we play this game. Oh no, my webcam is covering up half of the town square. That's not good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just, I just had to scroll up. Wow. I am a, yeah, I'm a smart man. Right, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's, let's do it. All right, yeah. kids, you all ready? Uh, yeah. I uh, just need Madeline to sit down. Oh, shoot. I actually haven't, do you know what, actually, you can take your time, because I'm going to settle the game. Okay. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is we are going to select some characters. We're going to build the game, and we're going to build it according to that bunch of numbers in the middle of the screen. So you see where it says 7221? That means we're going to select seven townsfolk, two outsiders, two minions, and one demon. Now, the demon is the evil team captain. In this case, it'll be that guy at the bottom of the sheet there, the imp. The good team wins if the imp dies. If at any point the imp is dead and there is no living imp, the good team wins. The evil team needs to keep the imp alive, because each night the imp will wake up and kill someone, and once there are only two players left alive, providing one of them is the imp, then the game is over and the evil team has won. So, let's build a game. Well, obviously, let's uh, let's unselect all of this stuff. So we need an imp, because uh, we ain't got a game if we ain't got an imp. We need to pick two of these minions, and I think for this demonstration game, we'll pick the Poisoner and the Scarlet Woman. So each night, the Poisoner will wake up and poison someone, and uh, when we go visit that player in the night, we'll give them false information. Or, if they're a role that does something like protect someone, it just won't they just won't be protected. And the Scarlet Woman's ability is that if there are five or more player, players alive when the imp dies, the Scarlet Woman becomes the new imp. So it's kind of a little safety net there. I think for our two outsiders, we're going to go with the drunk. Uh, now, the drunk is a really fun character because the drunk will believe that they're a townsfolk and will be treating them as though they're that townsfolk, but everything they do for the whole game will be poisoned because they're not, they're the drunk. And secondly, I think we'll go with the saint. If you die by execution, your team loses. So you've noticed here that perhaps uh, these outsiders are a little detrimental to the town. And they're kind of there to balance things out. They're playing for the good team and they win with the good team. But they can kind of screw up the good team a little bit. Right, let's select some townsfolk. I think we'll go with the chef for a start. So on the first night of the game, we'll wake up the chef and tell them how many evil players are seated next to each other. Now, if you look at this here, this is a, a big old circle, and, and uh, neighbours are considered to be players who are sat next to one another. So if uh, Patters and Alex are both evil at the start of this game, I'll give the chef a one, because that's one pair of evil players sat next to each other. Uh, I think we'll have an empath. The empath also interacts with neighbours, so each night they'll learn how many of their two alive neighbours are evil. And that's important because it's alive neighbours, so if their neighbours die, they get new information. Uh, let's throw an Undertaker in there. Each night they'll learn who's executed. And we'll throw in a Monk. The Monk can protect people. I think we'll pop a Ravenkeeper in there. They learn stuff if they die in the night, so they want the demons to kill them. 
let's put a washerwoman in. The washerwoman will start out knowing a townsfolk, so they can kind of team up with them. We'll throw a soldier in there, because the soldier's safe from the demon. And lastly, we need to take out the drunk and replace it with a townsfolk. And I'll choose Fortune Teller. And then we're going to assign these randomly. Here we are. That's what everyone's going to be. We'll make sure to remind ourselves that the fortune teller is actually the drunk. Now we've got to do the setup. So, which two good players will we show to the washerwoman? I'm thinking that we maybe show um, Ravenkeeper. And let's show Alex the poisoner. Of course, the Ravenkeeper will be the true one in that pair. And I think that's pretty much everything we've got to do. But importantly, the imp on night one will be given three bluffs to work with. So I'm going to choose three characters. And I think we'll go with Recluse. We'll go with Slayer. And we'll go with Mayor. So the evil team, well, not the whole evil team, but the imp will know that those three characters aren't in play and can use them to bluff. Yeah, Empath next to the Imp is a, is a, a big, big, big deal there, starting location. But if the Poisoner is smart, or, well, not necessarily smart, but if the Poisoner thinks, is worried, I guess, they can poison the Empath, and then the Empath can actually back up the Imp. We'll see how that goes, though. All right, let's kick things off. Yep, got it. Okay, everyone, <laughs> are you ready? I'm not going to wait for an answer, I'm just going to throw you into cottages. <laughs> no. Wow, what a wonderful cacophony. Okay, so, as you can probably tell here, we have got a bunch of cottages here. Now, the players can't actually see all these other rooms, only I can see the other rooms. And now we're going to go individually around the circle, wake everyone up and give them the first night's worth of information. So let's go visit Alex the Poisoner. Hello, Alex. Hi, Ben. Uh, so, oh, hang on, I need to send everyone their characters. So, characters. What does this mean? I think Ooh, you lovely. know what it means. Okay, so you are the Poisoner. Yep. Your fellow minion is gambling. Gambling, lovely. And your fellow demon is Aggie. Aggie. Gambling oh, and Aggie. All right. That sounds good. Good luck. Yep. Thank you. Hello, gambling. Oh, good evening. Good, sir. <laughs> so, uh, as the Scarlet Woman, I will now inform you that your fellow minion is Alex. Oh, excellent. And your demon is Aggie. Oh, my. Well, this is going to be an adventure. <laughs> I'm sure it is. All right. Have fun. Good luck. See you later. Hello, Aggie. Hello, Ben. Why did I have a feeling I would be evil in this game? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Because uh, cause the the Chrome browser hates you, maybe? Oh, no. Surely not. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I heard it slagging you off the other day. It was like, don't like that, Aggie. Oh, You're going to make her an Oh, imp. okay. Well... You could have just kept it to yourself, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, you can show the Chrome browser who's boss by winning. So uh, mm -hmm. your fellow minions are Gambling and Alex. Okay. Love that team. Gambling and Alex. Is and there your, only one Alex in here? Yes. Okay. Your, de your demon bluffs are Recluse, Slayer, okay, cool. and Mayor. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the, uh, the the beginning part of the night done. We've given the evil team their bluffs. Now, all we need to do is run the rest of the night. So, these little blue numbers here. This is a this is an, uh, a game that you can play in person, by the way. But on this fan-made web app, these little blue numbers to the left tell us what order we wake people up on night one. So, the poisoner always goes first. Uh, because they have to have the opportunity to poison someone. So let's see who Alex chooses to poison. Hello, Alex. Hello. Uh, night one, poisoning time. Who's it going to be? I am thinking, uh, just in case Empath or anything like that, uh, it's often a safe bet to poison one of my demon's neighbours, so I will go with Maggot, please. Maggot it is. Thank you. 
thank you. Oh, so close. So close, Alex. Alas, Maggot won't wake up till tomorrow night, so that is a... Uh, well, it's not going to do anything, basically. Good choice, though. It's a smart, smart reasoning. Can't fault that. Um, okay, so we are now going to head over to Jackie and tell her that either Roxy or Alex is the Raven Keeper. Hello, Jackie. Hello. As the uh, washer of women, you learn that either Roxy or Patters is the Raven Keeper. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, Thank I thought you might like that. All right, good luck. Okay, uh, next up it's Jams, the chef, who's going to learn how many pairs of evil players there are. And as you can see, there is a uh, well-placed maggot between these two evil players. And then Alex is all the way over there at the other side of the circle. So it's going to be a zero for Jams. Hello, Jams. Hello. You wake and learn that there are zero pairs of evil players neighboring each other. Zero pairs. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. All right. Now, this is the big one. Carly is about to learn that one of her living neighbors is evil. Now, for those of you who are new to Blood on the Clock Tower, this is kind of a... There's, there's almost kind of a, a meme within the community that empaths aren't real, that the storyteller always makes the empath drunk because they're super powerful, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've not done that. So I wonder if Carly might suspect that she's drunk or poisoned. But I, I guess we'll find out. Let's go give her a one. Hello, Carly. Hi. So you wake and learn, and I think you're going to like this, that one of your living neighbors is evil. Of course I do, Ben. <laughs> but am I drunk? Well, <laughs> am I drunk? yeah, you'll have to find that. I'm afraid, yeah, I can't help you with that one. But uh, yeah, good luck. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, see, I'm bloody psychic. Right, let's go over to Patters. Now, Patters, the fortune teller's ability is each night, wake up, choose two players, you learn whether one of them is the demon. Okay, pretty powerful. However, Patters is the drunk. So we're going to be lying to him, but we're not going to, I'm not going to just randomly lie to him and give him random yeses and noes because that would be, that would be funny, but it wouldn't be epic. What we're going to do is we're going to try and frame somebody as being the imp from very early in the game. So it's going to have to be somewhat improvisational, but based on the what who Patters chooses, at some point I'm going to start causing him to sort of zero in on someone. Let's see how it goes. Hello, Patters. Hello. Pretty powerful character for your first game on Gen Con. Absolutely, yeah, fortune teller. Yep. Um, I would like to pick Maggot mm -hmm. and Madeline. I'll go for the M's. The M's. Maggot or Madeline, and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, I think that's a... Uh, I think it's good to start with no on a drunk fortune teller, because I mean when it comes to statistics you're quite unlikely to hit the demon on night one. But I think perhaps if he starts picking around Alejo, Holly, Jackie, Jams, I might start saying yes. Particularly Jams, because that would vibe with the one that Collie the Empath got. Anyway, the game is now set up. We're ready to begin play. I think. Let me just have a quick double check to make sure I haven't screwed anything up. Yep, we're good. The Undertaker and Monk don't wake up till tomorrow night. Alright, I hope you're ready. Because there is some serious trouble brewing. I said the name of the thing there. Ooh. Welcome back, everybody. The game has now begun. Good luck, have fun, and remember, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> Why not? It looks appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, Maggot, let's, let's chat, Maggot. Of course. Carly, can I grab a chat with you? Always. Where do you want to go? Shall we go uh, to Skills of Sovereign Shack? Sure. See you there. Oh, hey there. Hello. Um, <laughs> so, I am feeling pretty confident in this game that there's not that much I can do to mess this up. 
Um, so I'm, I, I might even just come out and tell you my role, Carly, and hope for the best. Okay. If you're evil, it, it's it's not good for me, but it's not the worst. I'm the soldier. Okay. Um, All right. I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna bluff to everyone else as some kind of information gathering role, but I'm gonna tell you that I'm the soldier. You don't have to tell me anything. Um, but okay. There you go. Um, okay. I will. I might tell you tomorrow then. How about that? Okay, yeah, fine. No problem. Um, at all. That, that is very bold of you, but I also know that uh, you have been so bold in the future, and I am always <laughs> a fan of telling someone my role day one as a backup uh, and seeing how it goes. So either that, or you're lying to me, which is yeah. always a valid thing to do. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Even if I was good, but I am. I am indeed the soldier. Okay. Um, I, I will be bluffing to other people as kind of information gatherers. Um. Cool. Do you want to tell me anything actually, else? Or are you, actually, you Holly. Holly. It to Holly. Okay. Holly, I can <laughs> yes. trust you. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah, promise. Uh, okay. Um, uh, we could swap roles. Yeah? What are you? I'm the empath. Okay, let's swap roles. Let's swap okay. roles. I'm, what I'm going to do then, Carly, is I'm going to go and tell everybody that they're the only person I'm telling, but I need to find somebody and I'll tell them that they are the one person I've told them that I'm okay. the empath. Give, yeah, um, um, I will tell you that, uh, actually, yeah, I will tell you about my read. I'm not, I mean, obviously I could be drunk or anything else too, but uh, I, I like, I, I trust you. I hear your voice. Ah, uh, Holly. Actually, you really we're, can we're trust me today, Holly. We're a good team. Good team. Um, I, we have a good team. All right. Uh, don't push too hard on obviously any meadow with your empath because we don't want to get good people killed unnecessarily, but uh, yeah, so let's see how this goes. I'm trusting okay. you, Holly. I'm cool. trusting you. Yes. Hello. How you doing? Pretty good. Um, what did you fancy? Any information you want to exchange? Um, let, I could give you a three for three. Let's do it, yeah. I'm either the washerwoman, uh, the monk, or the undertaker. Washerwoman, monk, or undertaker? Lovely. I can let you know that I am either the fortune teller, the uh, virgin, or the undertaker. Alright, uh, for chat's benefit, we just engaged in what's commonly referred to as a 3 for 3. That means I tell three roles that I could potentially be, and the other person does the same thing with the same amount. You can change the amounts, but threes are really common because three is just a pleasant number. Thank you, Madeline. Yeah. And we could so be, don't uh... be afraid to try out that out. And remember, <laughs> this is a fun game. Even good people can lie. You can lie in these exchanges. Even Thanks, if you're Madeline. on the good team. I'll slip you I'll slip you that fifty dollars later for uh picking the job. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, that conversation's ended. Let's see what let's see what Aggie does now, because we haven't actually been in a chat with Aggie and I'd quite like to hear what it is she's claiming to be. And as I ramble on and on and try and buy time with this sentence, it's becoming more and more apparent that Aggie's not actually going to leave the task. Oh no, she's done it! Let's go. Space in my space. Oh, hi Ben. Hello Ben. Hello. Um, Aggie, I will tell you that I have information that suggests I know an evil player and it may be one of my neighbours. Okay, exciting. Um, is there any information you'd like to share? Uh, well, I spoke to one of your neighbors, neighbors, and uh, they claimed quite a powerful role. Uh, was it Jackie you spoke to? Uh, oh, you weren't paying attention! No, uh, no, it was Alex. Oh, okay, right. Alex is one of the players who may be evil. Okay. Also, oh, are you not claiming empath? Are you claiming more of an investigator? I am the investigator, the... yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I've seen well, a poison ear. Okay. I'll tell you that Alex claimed a fortune teller who's checked me and Holly. Right. Okay. But it's day one and everybody lies, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. okay. Uh, in exchange for that, do you mind if I give you two rolls instead of like hard? Yeah, go it? for it. You I'm not really feeling thing. it. Uh, well, either soldier or mayor. Soldier or mayor. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So you don't want to die at night, is what, or, or trying to avoid dying at night, sounds like. All right. Thank you, Aggie. If that's what you deduce from that, then that's fine. <laughs> well, that's the imp. Uh, no, goodbye. All right, cheers, bye. All right, let's see what Alex is up to, since he's just been completely stitched up by Pat is there. I don't believe you. <laughs> um, then I'm going to poke and prod you for what you actually are. Are you the watcherwoman who saw a fortune teller, or are you a raven keeper who's trying to use fortune teller as a bluff? Uh, I could be the fortune teller. I could think. I could have heard from a fortune teller. Um, what? Maybe. Hmm, maybe you're evil and you know that fortune teller's out of play. True. I and think then, you're probably good. That's very nice of you to say. I, um, Thanks. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> I'll put you down as fortune teller. You can put me down as fortune teller. And we have no problems okay. whatsoever. What's your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your fortune teller information? I went for a lovely... Across the board... Aggie and Holly no. Okay. And well, between was... us, we've cleared a lot of people from being the team. <laughs> right, so yours was uh, mine and me and Gambling. <laughs> yes, you and you and Gambling. <laughs> okay. Lovely. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not the demon. Yeah, that's, that's important. Um, it would be a shame if you turned out to be the demon. It would be. It would. All right, brace yourselves, everyone, because we're gonna get dragged. Yeehaw! <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the town square. Uh, take a minute or two to uh, discuss with one another, and then we'll look at nominating people. So, um, something interesting is that we would appear to ha have two people who are claiming to be a fortune teller. Only two. As far as I've heard, there are two people claiming to be a fortune teller. There may be a third. Yeah, I, I can corroborate that. I have had two people come up to me and it's directly hard to that to me. So this is an interesting situation. Hmm. Well, have, have any of them got a yes? Because if a fortune teller gets a yes, that means that person could be a demon. Well, so, so far they've told me they've got no's. That's both of them. Yeah. Okay. So whichever one's true, or if they're both lying. I'll doesn't. tell y'all I'm not a fortune teller, so <laughs> hands down, I don't see into things, except for my glasses. That's it. Can you see into or through glasses? Yes. I've, I've spoken to someone who might, who claimed that they might be in a fortune teller role swap. Is there a chance that there's, that's what's going on? Yeah, no. I think that might be happening. No. It's, not happening. <laughs> it's not what's happening, because... Uh, I am a fortune teller, and uh, I'm okay saying that because uh, I'm aware that I look quite suspicious, hopefully just suspicious enough uh, to not get killed. Um, but I have not entered into a role swap with anybody else, like uh, where I've not said that anybody else can claim to be that, and somebody has said to me when I first claimed to be that, uh, that they've heard of somebody else who's also claiming to be that. So that's very interesting to me. Well... I think that's a sensible time to say nominations are open. However, I should probably explain how these work for the benefit of chat. So, uh, for those of you who haven't played before, it's very simple. Each day, each player may nominate one person to be executed. We'll then debate it and vote on it. Similarly, each day you may be nominated once. Dead players can't nominate, but they can ask someone else to nominate for them. When someone's nominated, we'll discuss it, we'll vote on it. And in order to be executed, a player needs to get a number of votes equal to half the living players. So there are currently 12 living players. That means six votes required. However, just because someone gets six doesn't necessarily mean we're going to execute them. I'll keep calling for nominations. Someone else might get seven. Someone else might get nine, etc., etc. And once everyone's had the pound of flesh, it's the guy with the most votes who is executed. On a tie, nobody is executed. An execution always ends the day. So... With that in mind, folks, do we have any nominations? Uh, Madeline would like to nominate Roxy. Madeline would like to nominate Roxy. Tell us why, Madeline. If you gave me um, an accurate two for two, uh, both of those roles are in play as far as I am aware. They're either my role, someone I've talked to's role, or someone I confirm's role. So I would like to vote on this. Roxy? I, um, neither of the roles I gave you. 
I know, shock horror, lied in a game about lying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have only told my real role in one free for free. So, yeah. yeah. I'll let town <laughs> do what they want with that. <laughs> okay. Six votes required if you wish to put Roxy on the block. Hands up before the clock hand gets to you. Here we go. Alright, my mistake then. If relevant, I also lied to you entirely. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Roxy, I lied to you straight up. So, yeah, I wouldn't actually vote. Six votes is enough. Roxy is on the block. It can still be beaten, though. Do we have any other nominations? Jackie nominates Maggot. Jackie mm -hmm. nominates Maggot. Tell us why. Uh, slim chance I was hoping I would just die there for a minute, but... <laughs> Um, I don't know, I believe that I should kill Maggot day one. That's all. Okay, Maggot, your response? <laughs> as, as funny as it would be, I am objecting this time. No, oh, just this time, okay. Alright, you have to kill Maggot tomorrow, everyone. Uh, seven votes required if you wish to put him on the block, six to tie. Here we go. So at the moment, Maggot could tie this. Oh, I'm not going to. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Tying is a viable strategy if you're good or evil. Five is not enough. Yeah. Roxy's still on the block. Any other nominations? Well, we're playing a 12-player game, which means that uh, somebody is going to have to not die either during the day or during the night at some point. That might be, of course, uh, somebody doesn't die in the night for whatever reason, but we may have to not execute somebody on some way. I agree entirely, Alejo, which is why I'm nominating you. Gambling nominates Alejo. <laughs> All right, tell us why. Uh, there's a non-zero chance that this was a play of some kind, um, but I have spoken to a fortune teller who, it hurts me to say, I trust more than Alejo's claim. There is a chance that this is a baron or other disposable, in inverted commas, minion, uh, getting out ahead of any info that might be dangerous and attempting to sow chaos. If... I've been caught up in a web of lies like a poor little fly, then <laughs> so be it. But otherwise, I trust the other one more. Okay, Alejo? Uh, I'm afraid you have been. Um, I am simply a good and humble fortune teller, um, but I'm going to get lots of uh, good info, so I don't want to be executed, um, at least not at this point. Okay. You know the drill, seven required, six to tie. Hmm. Four is not enough, Alejo safe for today. Any other nominations? Well since I've been met with silence, I will call it in five seconds. Roxy nominates Jackie. Roxy nominates Jackie. Oops, clicked the wrong button there. Roxy nominates <laughs> Jackie. Tell us why. Um, she did say to me that she was one of the top four roles on the script, which means she won't get any more information. This is, of course, if she hasn't lied to me. Um, so, from where I'm looking, she is more disposable than I am when I've still got an ability that can be used. Jackie. Oh, I am very disposable. We can get rid of me. That's why I was kind of hoping to shoot in the dark and find a virgin. I will not say my role in case there's an undertaker. Okay. Seven required. Here we go. Do we want seven on this? I would. I think Jackie's good, um, so at most it might be nice to tie. I think seven would go. Well, we've got seven. Eight got is eight. enough. Jackie is now on the block. <clears throat> Any other nominations today? <clears throat> Pulling it in five. 
All right. Jackie is executed and dies. The game, of course, continues. Everybody goes to sleep. Good night, everyone. I. Good night. Ciao. All right. Pretty interesting first day. I think you'll agree. Um, what's going to be really interesting now, though, is who Alex chooses to poison. Because tonight, the second night of the game, is where all of the powerful townsfolk characters wake up and start learning their information. So the decision that Alex makes now is going to determine the course of the game. Let's see what he chooses. Hello, Alex. Hello, hello. Who would you like to a poison? Um, I've had some interesting chats today, um, especially one with Jams, and maybe there's a fortune teller. Who's to say? But I think I will go with Jams anyway. Jams it is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, you've got to say well done to Jams there, because Jams has successfully convinced the poisoner that she's going to get continued information, and of course she isn't. So that's a huge win for good team right there. Um, however, there are still decisions to be made. Next up, it's Maggot, who can protect someone. Let's see who he picks. Hello, Maggot. Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Hello. Uh, who would you like to protect? Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, hmm. I would like to protect Holly. Holly? Please. All yes, right. please. Holly it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this is an interesting turn of events. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Maggot has protected Holly, who is already safe from the demon. But I suppose, you know, it never hurts to double down, right? Uh, next, we're going to head on over to... So, number three is gambling the Scarlet Woman, but uh, the Scarlet Woman's ability is only relevant if the imp is dead. The imp isn't dead, so we're going to head over to Aggie. All right, Aggie. Oh. It's killing time. Who's it going to be? It is, but apparently it looks like we've got a lot of fortune tellers. Including my own poisoner, who's also claiming that apparently. <laughs> um, I figure that Patus might actually be the investigator, um, and Alex is just doomed right now. Um, but apparently, Holly is claiming empath, so I think I will try for Holly and see where that takes me. Holly, it is. Thank you. You. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, what a what a dumb night. <laughs> okay, well, nobody's dying. <laughs> That's all right. We do have a two-hour time slot to fill up, so I think they've done me a little favor there. Um, <laughs> all right, so next up in the night order is the Raven Keeper, Roxy, at the top there. But uh, Roxy's ability only does anything if she died, so that's not happened yet. So we're going to head on over to Carly and once again give her a one. This is looking grim for evil. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to her. Hello, Carly. Oh, hello. Have you, uh, have you changed your mind at all about whether or not you think you might be the drunk? I don't think I have the ability to say, uh, there's a, there's so much beauty to playing online, but the hard part when you're an empath is you can't just lean over and talk to your neighbor. So I haven't been able to track down enough of them. Um, I'm suspicious of one perhaps, so I might not be. I don't know. We'll oh, find okay. out. What do you have to, wait, are you going to tell me? Are you yeah, going to tell me yes. another sparkling one? Ben? I am. I am going to tell you another sparkling one. Um, Thanks so so yeah. much. Hopefully, the next one won't be so carbonated. But um, yeah. out of curiosity, which of your two neighbors are you suspicious of? Well, I've only talked to Jams, and um, it was part of the whole fortune teller on fortune teller on fortune teller debacle. But to me, it it read as not accurate in the Ooh. pacing um, of how they shared their information, but. I'm, I'm not sure if it was, there's there's plenty of reasons for good characters to lie. So I'm not actually necessarily super suspicious as much as I am just suspicious of the claim. Fair we'll enough. See. All right. Cheers, Colin. Uh, okay. We are now heading over to our dearly drunk patters. Uh, let's see who he picks, but I, I am keen to try and stitch up uh, either jams to look evil so that Carly will fi fire that way. Or Carly to look evil to help the evil team. But let's see. There you at Patters. There you are. Hello, Patters. <clears throat> As you stare into your crystal ball tonight, uh, 
immediately after having unmuted yourself, who would you like to look at? Or which two would you like to look at? I would like to look at Roxy and Carly. Roxy and Carly? Oh, Patters! You learned that yes! One of them is in fact the demon. Perfect. Now or you're red herring. Town. Or you're poisoned. Oh, yeah. Or you're drunk. Or any of these things. I've also, <laughs> got the, I've also got the hurdle of getting people to convince uh, to convince people that I'm the actual fortune teller, and not one of the parent <laughs> other two in town. So. Amazing. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers. All right. Good. Mission accomplished. Okay. Now we're going to head over to Madeline, who learns the role of the player that was executed yesterday. Madeline is not drunk or poisoned, so we're just going to tell the truth, which I think is going to be a pretty big deal because that's going to back up Roxy as well, because the washerwoman saw Roxy. And we're going to tell Madeline that Jackie was the washerwoman. Here we go. Hello, Madeline. I'm alive. Let's you, go. You are indeed, unlike your clients, who are very dead. So, uh, yesterday Jackie was executed, and upon the uh, exhumation of her corpse, you learned that she was, in fact, the washerwoman. Oh, wow. That's a very powerful role, folks. <laughs> Don't you forget it. All right. Thanks, Madeline. All right, cool. That's the whole night phase done. Um, I often like to waste a few seconds at the end of the night because players who have played as much Clock Tower as these guys know the night order and they know that there are still some characters that could have been woken up after the Undertaker. If I just go and immediately wake everyone up, Madeline will know that the Undertaker is like was the last person I visited. But this little monologue has killed enough time. So let's wake everyone up for day two of Blood on the Clock Tower. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It has been a rather chilly night, and you wake to find the warmest of things. There were no deaths in the night. Ooh. Sorry, I'm going to put a medium chat. That's pretty dank. Okay, then. Uh, back up, please <laughs> be to you, please. Of course. Uh, Gambling, would you like would to talk? Uh, sure, Aleha, let's go. Uh, Jackie, hello? I was muted, let's go. <laughs> okay, lead the way. Carly, could we have another chat? Absolutely. Uh, let's, okay. I'll follow you. Yes. Hi, Jackie. Hello. I'm, you, you could call me the Queen of Spades, because I'm the Undertaker and you're a washerwoman, aren't ya? I am. Alright. So... I was wondering, who did you confirm, if anyone? I believe I am confirming Roxy. I got uh, multiple rolls from both of my pings, and hers had it the roll in there. So I want to go oh. back and actually talk with her to find out if I am confirming her or not. All right. Uh, who was the other ping? Patters. Okay. And he denied it, correct? Um, he gave me a two, and it was not that. Okay. Very smart play. All right, I think, yeah, Roxy's playing good. Um, so yeah, there's no way of knowing that unless I am my role or I was like. I'm inclined to believe that you might be good. I'm very, very good. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Outside, very, very outside, good. Outside or a townsfolk? I'm a townsfolk. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Okay. Yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a townsfolk as well. Um, I can let you know that I possibly, likely, I do gain information. Well, I only gain information once in a very specific situation. Okay. Which, <laughs> yeah. I think um, I to put you down as the... The Raven Keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is why I'm kind of claiming those powerful roles. Because okay. I'd like to die, but not by town. <laughs> <laughs> that makes that makes perfect sense. Okay. Um I will should we set up a plan? Shall I go around saying that like let's slip that maybe you're the, the monk who protected someone or Um 
I feel like I've had two claims of Monk already. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure how well that will go down. Um, mm. But I guess Fortune Teller is definitely not one to go around saying, seeing as that appears to be a nice double claim in there already. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe maybe Slayer or something. Okay, I I'll yeah. see what we can do. But um, okay, I appreciate your hard claim. I can let you know. Um, you have no reason to trust me. Like, there's okay. nothing that points to me being good. Um, I will say that in spite of the fact that I lied to Gambling, Gambling was referring to me when he said there was a fortune teller he trusted more than Elaine. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, because I spoke to Gambling first and I claimed fortune teller uh, That's to how him. That works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a good social read to my perspective <clears throat> on Gambling because I think unless gambling had other information that like pointed to a reason to trust me which i don't think he should have um him choosing to trust me is not always necessarily something he tries to do when he's evil okay uh i'll hmm. i spoke to maggot on day one and uh we both sort of claimed the same set of roles so between me and maggot uh, we have a possibility of these two roles, a uh, monk, a mayor, and a soldier. Okay, I know Assuming of another soldier. Assuming that you didn't lie to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so soldiers were as populous as fortune tellers um, yesterday, it seems. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, and it's quite early for this, to my perspective, just based off of the been given and the people who socially, I think, at this stage are good. The the bookstore thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to play with you again. <laughs> it's a delight as ever. All right. Uh, so this, this time, I promise not to kill my own <laughs> friend stuff, which was sounds good. Uh, anyway, um, hello. So, uh, hello. how do you prefer to do this? Are uh, you keep it vague in case one of us is an undertaker, or go full honesty, absolutely full claims? You know, um, I'm, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to tell you, um, almost with specificity who I am, almost. Almost with specificity. Ah, should we play a guessing game? <laughs> I mean, it's not much of a guessing game. I will say that I may have had something to do with the no deaths last night. Fantastic. In which case, um, I will tell you that I have particular reason to solve whether and if we have a fortune teller in play. Say more. <laughs> oh wait, and you're, you've narrowed it down to two-ish. I've narrowed it down to, okay, a mechanical reason uh, to find out if we've got an actual fortune teller in play, not just because they're useful for town in a general sense. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to tell me who you are? Uh, okay. Well, based on that. Um, I mean, based on that. But who are you? I'm either the fortune teller, the raven keeper, or the slayer. Okay. 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 All right. We will talk later. Spicy stuff. Thank you for your time. Bye. To give you more. No, um, you have, I will tell you that I have a I have a fortune teller no on you uh, from okay. the day one. I'm not going to tell awesome. you uh, who else I have a no on. Um, okay. I'm, I'm fairly confident that you're not a demon. Yeah, at the stage. I'm not. Obviously, there's ways that I can be getting wrong information, but. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. That. Um. All right, cool. That's that's good to know. Um, so you you're sticking with fortune teller. You weren't you weren't just playing in in town yesterday. You you are the fortune teller. I am the fortune teller. Okay. Where where, where have you heard these double claims from? Do you know where they they're coming from? Uh, Maggot told me that there was another person who has claimed double. Uh, sorry, who's claimed to be the fortune teller. Uh, okay. Gambling also implied the same publicly yesterday. Okay. Um, but gambling also said that the fortune teller didn't vote on me. Um, the you didn't have to tell me who or anything like that. I was just curious if we, if you had um, a a good a good ping in that regard. Speaking of good pings, welcome back, everyone. Take a minute to chat, then we'll open nominations. Um, I'd like to say at this point that since yesterday, the number of fortune tellers I've spoken to has only increased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? A training, everyone. Why would wow. it increase? Yeah. yeah. I don't money. get that. Money. Well, there's, there's a lot of fortune <laughs> tellers around here. 
There's how many on the fortunes now. How many outsider claims have we heard of? Because uh, if we can figure out that, then we can know what one the minions might be. Oh, funny enough, I've not heard of one. I've heard of exactly one. Exactly one also. One. So, unless I've just not spoken to the right people. Getting rid of fortune tellers now. <laughs> <laughs> just like, let's, let's kill. Come on. <laughs> Well, since you've said so, nominations are open. Hmm. I mean, I don't know uh, who they are. I know who one of them is. Patters will nominate <laughs> Roxy. Patters <laughs> nominates Roxy. Roxy, your second day of being nominated. Patters, I know. tell us why. Um, it felt like a big lift off Roxy onto Jackie yesterday. It felt like... Um, it, it was the last nomination as well. I know the, the that's almost always going to be the the most likely nomination that goes through, but it just it it, it did sit right with me, um, and sort of given what I know about the game state currently, um, I don't know what information role you could be uh, that would be worth keeping around. And I think, in my eyes at least, um, that sort of longer you stay around, the less in information I'm going to trust from you either way. So yeah. Okay, Roxy. Oh, okay. Um, I am washerwoman confirmed. Um, so that's going in my favour. Um, and yeah, um, a few people know my role. I'm yeah. Um, I can get information. I'm worth keeping in town. So my concern about. Yeah, so the concern here is that Jackie is the washerwoman, and that is the person we lifted Yeah. you, uh, sorry, lifted onto off you. So Jackie could very well just be a minion. Um, Roxy, anything to respond before we run the vote? I've got a lovely blue token. If you kill me here, it is a waste of my ability. But if it will clear up worldviews and stop me being suspicious, I can die. But there are definitely better kills in town. Okay, uh, so we've got 11 living players today, which means once again, six votes required minimum. Here we go. Um, I don't think that Jackie is a minion just from the way that she was playing, uh, even before Roxy was on the block. Unless Why she's would a Jackie baron. Be a minion in the first place. Well, if in the case where Roxy is the demon who's protected by Jackie, right? Five is uh, not enough. Maggot would like to nominate Carly. Maggot nominates Tok. Let me try that again. Maggot nominates Carly. Tell us why. I have heard through the grapevine of potential evil. And if we're not going for who Roxy, who we think may be suspicious, this could be the next best option. Okay, Carly. Hi. Um, I have a lovely little blue token and would really not like to die yet. Um, I've already told you uh, pretty forthcoming actually about my role. Um, if you, yeah, and I, yeah, this is this is this is this is a silly maneuver. I, I would not do this if we have a better person. I would go for them. Okay, six required. I think I know what my move is. I'm noting well, all the evil people who want to kill me. Six is just enough. <laughs> all block. six of us. Madeline nominates Maggot. Madeline nominates Maggot. Tell us why. Um, I've heard of a monk that actually protected Carly last night. So, um, and there were no deaths in the night. Maggot. I mean, I find that funny. I'd love to know who that monk is because they are lying. Okay. Seven to execute, six to tie. And I've not heard of any monks on amongst my travels so far, so... Amongst. Yeah, <laughs> I realised that as soon as I said it. <laughs> among us. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Five is not enough. Carly's still on the block. I would right. like... To, I, okay. Carly, would like to nominate Jams. Carly nominates Jams. Tell us why. Um, of the abundance of fortune teller 
shenanigans going down in this town. Um, this one didn't seem sincere. There's a chance that this was just a good play, but I do not wish to die. Um, I think there are better kills, and I think this would be a better kill, potentially. Okay, Jones. Regardless. Uh, Carly, I didn't vote on you because I think you are good. I am also good. I will happily tie it on myself to get you off the block, but I do okay. not think that we should be killing good people right now. I'm fine with that. I just, I, just, I significantly just think, I'm okay with the tie. I just significantly think I should not die here. Okay. I think this is a move. Well, seven to execute, six to tie. I don't think tying could have the good team here. No, it doesn't. Yeah, probably uh, not. Alejo, yesterday you specifically pointed out that at some point in the game we're going to have to miss a kill. I do recognize and then, that there was yeah, but we don't in the night. Yeah, don't we'll anymore because do like yeah, we don't anymore because someone didn't die. That's... Five is not enough. <laughs> For I didn't Patters. want to tie. Um, right, okay. Alejo nominates Patters. Tell us why. Uh, quite simply, a fortune teller ping. Obviously, there's uh, f uh, four people who, over the course of the game, will register as yeses uh, to the fortune teller. Um, given that there's a red herring, and this is one half of a ping, um, but it's still it's still demon. Okay, Patters. My understanding is there is currently a player on the block who we already have a fortune teller yes on. So um, I see no reason why we should go after this one um, rather than the other one. Okay, seven to execute. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I was just going to say it's not true and I'm really <laughs> not a good kill right now. That's why. Okay, seven You're to wrong. execute, six to tie. Could we not tie this, if possible? I will, I will not. I will it. not vote for myself. And Alex, I will ask you not Let's to vote. Not. For <laughs> no. Oh, 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 five is not enough. Carly's Why would still you on the block. your own? <laughs> to Polly don't nominates trust. Alex. Polly nominates Alex. Okay, tell us why. I'm so sorry, Alex, we've not spoken, um, but if Carly is what I think she is, we would be we would be better to kill someone else. Okay, Alex. Um, I, I have no clue what Carly may be, um, but I do know what I am, and I am not a great kill for good. Um, and I think I, I probably would have put it on Patters, but um, I let her drop their vote, but um, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not a good kill. Okay. Once again, seven to execute, six to tie. Friends. Uh, yeah, to explain that, um, I obviously I don't trust the fortune teller ping on Carly because there just straight up isn't one. Um, but <laughs> at the same time, we should not be tying, and that's why I didn't put there as well. Five is not enough. I am of the opinion that you are not able to muster more than six. So I will say, I, final call, bringing the day to a close in five seconds. I do think Patters and Alex are both evil, though, but this is we weren't going to get either of them executed. In, in fairness, Patters spoke for me there. Um, I think Patters could be a bad egg, but I'm not. All right, Collie is executed and dies. The game is not over. To your cottages go. Wow. That was tense. <laughs> okay, so um, that's rough. That's very rough for the good team, um, but it's in for for the for the team that is on the side of balance. It's pretty good, right? Once again, Alex has the opportunity to poison someone. Let's go and see who he chooses because this will make a difference. All right, Alex. Looks like you uh, narrowly avoided getting getting the chop just there. Yeah, quite quite the um, nomination phase. Are you um, still are you still trying to convince people you're the fortune teller? No, no. Um, I think me and Aggie had a plan from the get go. I think I, I claimed, pretended to claim fortune teller to Aggie. Um, I think I'm gonna uh, rotate to recluse, but try to look evil if I continue to survive. Fair um, point. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Um, Good to know. Well, who's who's it gonna be for the poison? Yeah. Um, I think Madeline may have somewhat out of themselves as monk. Um, so I think the safe bet might be good to go for Madeline. Okay, Madeline it is. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! That's going to be brilliant. We can totally stitch up Carly now. Um, so Pat as the drunk fortune teller. Saw, saw Carly as a potential demon. 
So now that Madeline, the, the poisoned undertaker, if she survives the night, we're going to show her that Polly was the imp. And we'll see how that goes from there. But first, we've got a few other things that we need to do. Let's go see who Maggot protects. So, Maggot, did you hear that the uh, monk protected Carly yesterday? Yeah, I have heard, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> who would you like to protect? Not Carly, presumably. No, I mean, I'm not going to protect someone from their already unfortunate demise. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I'm trying to put myself in this thinking space of who do I think the demon would kill at this point to try and get the most benefit from it. And my mind is telling me jams, so I'm going to go for jams. Okay. Jams it is, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> jams, the poisoner was afraid of jams, so I suppose that's a reasonable choice. Uh, Alright, demon's not dead, so we skip over gambling. Now let's see who Aggie kills. Hello, Aggie. Hi, Ben. Who would you like to kill? Uh, well, I think I'll leave Holly alone because I have a feeling like maybe I found that soldier. Or she was just protected by a monk. Uh, seems to be more soldiers than monk in the town. Uh, I'll leave Aleha alone, whatever they are doing. Uh, let's just allow that. I'll try Madeline. Madeline? Okay. Madeline it is. Thank you. Oh. Boo. Okay, well, I mean, to be fair, that is a very good choice for the evil team, taking out an Undertaker. Uh, and they've still got the Poisoner, so they can. Th there is information that can still be poisoned in this town. I guess now we are heading on over to somebody. Roxy's not dead, so we stay where we are with that. Um, Patters it is then now. Okay, let's go and speak to Patters. Hello, Patters. Hello. Sounds like people don't trust you. Uh, Alejo doesn't trust me, and Alejo's in a double claim. Oh, okay, with... interesting. Well, he's in a double claim with you, right? Yeah, but no one knows he's in a double claim with me. <laughs> uh, they have a double claim with me, sorry. Um, oh, yes, right, you are. Uh, so, who would you like to look at tonight? Gambling and jams, please. Gambling and jams, and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Thank you. Welcome. All right. That's. I think that Patters has got very believable information there. Um, I think we'll we'll if he if he picks Alejo at some point, perhaps we'll say yes. We'll see how that goes. Um, Madeline, of course, is not waking up now because Madeline is dead. And I think we've probably killed just about enough time. Have a little look at this adorable uh, little creature there in chat, and then we'll wake everybody up. It looks like Alex fell out of his seat. Oh well. You okay there, Alex? Yeah, okay. sorry, my internet just dropped um, <laughs> now on data. But yeah. wondering if you were getting bored of your cottage. <laughs> I ran away. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And it is a good morning for everyone, except for Madeline. Because Madeline died in the night. Hi, guys. I was your undertaker. Oh, oh dear. Not was that time. was that Jackie confirmed? Can Jackie I, speak to that? I confirmed Jackie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, um, which confirms Roxy. So yeah, this is good. Can I can I can I have a chance to tell you guys my my role, perhaps? If you want to. Now that I'm dead. Um, I was our 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 beloved uh, empath. Actually, you may believe Ooh. someone else is, but they're not. Um, and. We, we swapped that in the beginning. Um, I got a one. Um, Jams being supportive of me um, when it came to getting me off the chopping block, if my one, which was continuous while I was alive, is accurate, leads me to question uh, Aggie. So that's where I'm at. That's what I got. Uh, let's try to get this demon, the actual one. Maga, can we talk, please? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, I picked Hi. Jack and I picked Gambling and I got a no. You said you picked jabs and gambling. Yeah, I got a no. Right, oh, okay. Right. Have you heard of any other empaths elsewhere? I have. So I've I'm... not heard of any other empaths. Um, my right, my okay. board is pretty empty. Uh, okay. Worth. I've got 
So in my world, by the way, uh -huh. uh, because Alejo is saying they don't know who the other fortune teller is, it mm -hmm. makes me believe one of two worlds. Either Alejo is the spy and is mm -hmm. choosing to double claim me um, right. because it's advantageous for the evil team to do so. Or you and Alejo are on the same team mm -hmm. and um, you told Alejo my role. And now mm -hmm. you and Alejo are in a bit of conflict because you've you've said you've told Alejo my role, and Alejo's mm -hmm. saying they don't. No, I honestly can't remember if I did or not. That's the problem. Okay. Well, either way, um, from my perspective, mm -hmm. it's all a bit. But it all yeah. is strange right now. Yeah. Um. So Roxy still, in my opinion, is our best kill, assuming that Roxy, um, is not right. the red herring. Um, the issue with that, they're saying that they are what. Confirmed by a supposed Watcher woman who's Undertaker confirmed. Yeah, so it makes it makes the argument a lot less um, yeah. valuable now. Um, yeah, I don't think people are going to go for that at this point now. Yeah, so let's just assume that Roxy's the red herring, which leaves one, two, three, four demon candidates: Aggie, Alex, Holly, Alejo. Mm -hmm. um, unless the demon has changed and Carly was the demon. I think for what it's worth, if we're believing what Carly's just come out with, then Aggie's not a bad shout. Aggie or Jams? Um... Mm. <sighs> I don't know if it's because Jams is just really, really good. I'm not getting... Well, I have a no one Jams, for what it's worth. So even well, if Carly was the mm. demon, passed to Jams, yeah. that can't work. So yes. Aggie... Yeah, I'm happy to go with Aggie um, and mm. follow Carly's empath info. Um... Oh, okay, that's good to know. And yeah, I guess there is just a trust train now between mm. Madeline, Jackie, and Roxy. So hard, mm. hard to argue against it. Yep. Um, so oh, mm -hmm. I shan't. Yep, that's cool. All right. Uh, do you know who this outsider is? Or no, do you I've know not heard what of any. it is? Okay, because gambling's saying they've heard of an outsider. I've heard of which zero makes me outsiders. Think that gambling is the outsider. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, based on what I've got, that would be makes sense. So. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Potentially, it's an introduction to Clock Tower. Yeah. So I would posit that one of you would probably be drunk, and since I know I'm good, I don't know about jams, but I think you're good. I just Holly. don't. Holly. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. We can have a chat, Maggot. Oh, was that Carly? Uh, oh, was that me or you? I don't know. Let's both, both go and ask. <laughs> Let's go. We know we both can't go. Uh, <laughs> Carly and Holly uh, don't know which they don't know which one you want to chat to them. So drop down to Kohav's kibitz and they can join you in there. <laughs> there you go, guys. I told him to move. I believe I asked for Holly, but I will take oh, both. Sorry. Well, I'm that's, okay. that's okay. So I have heard the same role from both. Is that something that's yeah? Going that on? we we talked yeah. to each other first for a second. Right. That's what I wanted to clarify. Yeah, it was intended. It was intended right. because I know um, Maggot, I, you are one of the people yeah. I told about my about my my bluff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that that I, is that situation. Because neither of them knew of what I was claiming or uh, doing, Jam's support of me not dying makes me more suspicious of Aggie of the two people next to me. Yeah, I would. Do you guys have any reason to trust or not trust Aggie? I would say Aggie's a decent kill. Knowing that your information is now a not being double, and b can be verified to a point, I have, the reason why I nominated you because I heard from a fortune teller who's not a layho that had a ping on you, so I thought, okay, well we're not going for that one. This is the next yeah. best thing, and people decided to vote on it. So yeah, I, I, I'd be up for killing Aggie to be honest. Um, yeah, I would. I'm not... I would yeah, I, I, I'm down for that as a course of action because I think yeah. there are a couple of worlds in which in which Aggie is evil and Aggie is our demons. So I'm I'm happy yeah. to go that. way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think it's a good move, and it's really the most information I can contribute. Yeah, <laughs> that, is yeah either that fair. or jam. So, that's um, just sad. I am also very sad that our uh, uh, our Undertaker did not make it to avenge me. <laughs> but <laughs> here we are. Um, yeah. I tried so hard to get you off the block, Carly. I, I know we all did. <laughs> also, what with what with the layout? What was that? For what, for what it's worth, I will just state what I've been doing. Uh, I protected you, Holly, on night two. Oh, don't. Based on, based oh, that's, oh no, that's me. hilarious. Yeah, oh, based wait. on what you told me, I was like, yeah, that's not a bad choice. 
Wait, on oh wait, on night two you're saying you So night two going into day two. That's So I could have been the no death reason. Wait, so who did who did you who did you talk wait, so you could have but then wait, you okay. (laughs) So you protected someone already protected, and that's when we had no death? I predicted Holly when we had no death, and last night I predicted Jams and Madeline. Interesting. Okay. So we are, oh, Holly, who did you talk to? Because that's almost certainly what happened. Well, I was going to say I'm slightly mm-hmm. suspicious of Maggot because Maggot was one of the people that I spoke to, uh, and also Gambling and Roxy. So I was going to, I was going to go for Maggot or Roxy especially. Sorry, Maggot. Um, but actually, I'm happy to go with Aggie or Roxy. Mm. Um, I'd say let's start with Aggie then, and yeah. then maybe go Roxy. Yeah, 100% agree. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Cool. Go back to town? Bye, yeah. See you there. <laughs> Did I just hear Mario Kart? Who's playing Mario Kart? Can I come? Everyone, everyone's talking about playing Mario Kart after the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. this. Not Mario Kart, of course, the stream. Uh, everyone, welcome back oh. to the town square. There are nine living players, five votes required today. Take a minute, then we'll talk nominations. I thought we were playing Mario Kart. I'm upset. <laughs> open up mold. Um, right. Do do we just go after Aggie today, then? I think Roxy's cleared by too many things, to be honest. Mm. I trust I Roxy. Mean... Mm-hmm. I don't see any other options today. But you trust Roxy. Okay. I mean, I'll happily listen to people who've got another option, but I don't see anything else myself. I suppose uh, it I depends so. which fortune teller we believe, if because of the I ping mean, on patterns. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the motive that I'm following for going to Aggie today doesn't even include fortune information. So, it's nothing to do with those two guys. Yeah, agreed. Okay, well, with that in mind, I will open nominations. Yeah, I'll nominate Aggie. Alright. That is, tell us why you've nominated Aggie. Um, if Aggie is the role I believe they to, they are, um, we will have a hard time trusting them now, um, at the end of the game. It's entirely possible that Carly could be drunk or poisoned. Uh, they'd have to be drunk or poisoned the entire game. Um, which is fine, um, but uh, yeah, I, I, w- I personally would have a hard time trusting Aggie's role at the end of the game, given what's going on. Okay, Aggie? Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to trust you, Potters, actually, uh, when the rest of the town didn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have enough outsiders, <laughs> so with those pings, if we're assuming that Jam is, is actually good, uh, then I think Carly might have just been a drunk empath, and that's what that is. Patters, you know my role. Uh, well, if you think that nobody will trust me, then I can try to gain some more trust later. Don't know, fortune tellers can check me, uh, some slayers can slay me, or anything like that. Uh, I would not like to be executed. Okay. Five votes required today. Here we go. I'm concerned how they're struggling to get hands. Mm. Almost mm. demonic. Mm, yeah. We just got there. Five is good. just enough. Aggie on the block today. Alejo nominates Patters. Alejo, tell us why you've chosen Patters. Uh, exactly the same as yesterday. I still have a ping on Patters that could mean that Patters is the demon. Um, that's about it. Patters? Um, I find the fortune teller information to be unfortunately unreliable because we have too many of them. Um, so I am more willing to follow the information that isn't double claimed, um, in my opinion. So. Okay, six to execute, five to tie. Mm-hmm. Well, I suspect this will get lifted. So, yep, there it is. Good oh one. dear. This is such. An- Oh, there we go. All right, interesting. Oh, oh. interesting. Oh. Five is a tie. Oh. 
Nobody on the block now. That is interesting. Let's Someone nominate, nominate Alex. Alex. What the Gambling heck was that? Alex. Gambling. Gambling. Alex. Tell us why I've nominated Gambling. Alex. So, okay, here's the thing. I've um, I've got a Traff Zero that I trust and I've been working and building worlds off of. There is a world that has Alex Evil with some other people. That vote was a choice. Um, Alex, explain yourself, please. Uh, what, did I tie that? Yes, <laughs> yes, you did. I, did I, well, ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God damn. God damn it. The, the sincerity. It. It's making me want to weep. <laughs> um, in Oh, this is... Uh, we're in trouble here because I've made myself look evil. Um, yeah, I'm an outsider. I could... We could just lose the game now. I, I didn't mean to tie that. I'm sorry. Okay. Something makes it... Six votes required. Here we go. Oh, what's up? We're doubling down. <laughs> Right, in fairness, I was just playing up for the camera. I am the saint. Uh, I won't kill me. In what? fairness, what? I'm the saint. I, w I won't kill me. Can I talk, talk about uh, KAS now? Seven is enough. What? Alex on the no. block. <laughs> we have new viewers. Do not expose them, please. I, I, I <laughs> think from this bit of information, there are no outsiders in the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex would like to nominate uh, Alejo. Tell us why, Alex. I think uh, um, I think all information pointing at me proves that I'm good. Um, I think mechanically as well, and I think Alejo is claiming something that I have a hard claim that I trust somewhere else, and I just think that Alejo is just causing nonsense as potentially like a baron or something like that. Well, probably not a baron, uh, a spy or something like that. Uh, I am not a good kill. Don't kill me. Okay. Or do kill me. I, I'm not. Um, I don't think that this is going to get lifted. Okay. Eight to execute, seven to tie. Come on, Patters. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm, I have no interest in, in any regard in helping you out at this moment in time. I think that the hilarious... Actually... There you go. There you Three's go. Have enough. a nice vote. Have Alex, we actually got any other outsider claims? No, we're just concerned. Yeah. Um, Holly nominates Roxy. Holly, tell us why you've nominated Roxy. I'm sorry, Roxy. Um, because I think if we haven't got any other outsider claims, there is a chance that Alex is the saint, in which case we good could, the good could lose the game now if we execute him. I'd like to avoid that. The other bit, the reason why I've gone for Roxy over someone else is because I was bluffing Empath um day one there was no death on night two um the second night because I, I have reason to believe it's because the the demon targeted me and the three people i told were maggot gambling and roxy that i hard claimed empath on so i have a feeling one of them is evil possibly the demon so i just to get it off alex that's where i'd be going personally okay roxy oh i was gonna go for like without getting nominated Good. Um, I mean, um, Holly, I'm suspicious of you anyway, um, just from what's going on. Um, I am Washerwoman confirmed who is Undertaker confirmed. So why are we not going after this supposed Chef Zero? Like, who is a role that is more dispensable if you don't want to kill, dispensable in case you want to kill, don't kill the saint rather than someone who is in a triangle of trust or we can go after maggot yeah that's fair enough that's fair enough but i think we should be going after somebody else okay why are they going after me eight to execute seven to tie uh well alex in our conversation gambling to be fair alex did claim to be either one outsider or the yeah. same so yeah. i uh, alex is whatever i think at this point <laughs> Like, so, who's, I don't think Alex is the same. Are you not enough? It, 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 it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm the chef, don't worry about it. Um, I have heard of another problem. outsider claim. Who claims shy? Maggot nominates gambling. Maggot nominates gambling. Tell us why, Maggot. If we are now starting to believe we've got a saint on the block, as we just discussed, the chef is much more dispos disposable, and this is a safer choice. 
Gamlin. I... Well, I mean, that's fine. Uh, the Chef Zero world I've been building is Alex Alejo Maggot, so... <laughs> this is pleasant. Um, I... I recognise that we've got an outsider current problem. A big one. Um, if... Alejo, are you willing to out what outsider you've heard of? It doesn't have to... You don't have to tell me where. Um... I don't have, yeah, no, I don't have an actual claim of the type, of the outsider type, but I've heard of a, a, a hard claim of another outsider. Normally I would be a coward and willing to recognize a saint claim and do the thing. I don't trust Alex as far as I could throw him, and I've, I don't think I can throw him very far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, lobbed Alex is aside. We need eight to execute, seven to tie. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, I'm not fully convinced that Alex is the saint, but I'm just giving like town the other option yeah. if we do want to lift it off. Well, I gambling was one of the people I told I was the empath, so I'm not sure I trust gambling. Right. I, I just I would just look more into the outsider numbers because or we're, we're about to lose the game. Roxy nominates Maggot. Roxy nominates Maggot. Tell us why. Um. So if we're going off the theory of Alex is the saint and we don't want to risk it just yet. Um, Holly is hard playing to free people. We didn't get gambling on the block. Maggot, I know I'm good and stuck in a triangle of trust, so I think we go for Maggot here. Okay, Maggot. Alright, I guess it's time to explain myself then and what I've been doing. So, I'm just going to tell you all, I am the actual monk of this game. When Holly had claimed to me the role that they were claiming at the time, I chose to protect them as I felt it would have been useful in information. Okay. We've got, once again, seven on Alex, so that means eight required if you want to put Maggot on the block. Here we go. This is this is now and ever. I think Aggie and Alex are both good, which means Maggot can't be even. How many is the tie? How many is the tie? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, there's no point then. Five is not enough. Good. Alex still on the block. No. I even I have it's, anyone I, I, it's it's so suspicious. I just I, I have a guttural instinct. This is going to be okay. Yeah, the Alex. only thing we've got is when can we tie it on jams? It was such um, a weird move, guys. Come on, don't I, overthink it. You, Alex, if you're we, actually the saint, I'm so sad. I, I think <laughs> what we've got to look into is that they could still be three years alive, so they're not going to vote on it. So I think we we, we need to tie it. We just need to tie it because else we're just going to lose the game. I don't think Unless we, I'm poisoned, we're not going to get it. Unless I'm poisoned. Yeah. Alex, so in the seeds there to get away with your deception. <laughs> Unless I'm poisoned, of course, guys. Well, <laughs> old uh, town of Ravens and Blood. Poison, but I, 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 I would. Can we, t can we tie to some jams or something? I think that's the last nominated. not been nominated yet. I think that's the last nominated. <clears throat> okay, I'll nominate jams. All right, Aggie, tell us why. Uh, Alex is panicking quite a lot, and uh, we're still missing outsiders, so. If this is actually correct, we do not want a Saint loss, but we would need to really coordinate to not get rid of Jams, because uh, I don't know about Jams' alignment, uh, but possibly good, because I think, think Carly was a drunk empath. Uh, so, do we want to tie this? No. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> okay, Jams. It's fine. <laughs> Um, yes, I, uh, I'll adjust this to Alex. Alex, I am the poisoner. I have poisoned you, um, because you told me that you were the saint, so this will be fine. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> no. eight to execute, seven to tie. We're not gonna get seven, are we? We can get seven. We should go for seven. Come on, <laughs> oh. I would like to point out that the person I'm suspicious oh. of is trying to protect the most suspicious person. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. What is this, guy? I need to get until I feel like I have a good sense. I until Aggie not... started defending, I was like, fine. Uh, I'm of the opinion that you're not going to beat this seven, so I will bring things to a close in five seconds. I think everyone's nominated. So if the game continues, we're going to have Aggie tomorrow. Oh, okay. well, the game's not going to continue. It's, it's... <laughs> okay, guys. Alex is executed and dies, and the game... Does continue. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh, oh jam! Yes, jam! I didn't want. It. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Um, <laughs> so uh, Alex is uh, obviously evil. I think it's worth pointing out that I'm that I'm pretty sure that was deliberate. 
because if you noticed, Gambling was kind of constantly pushing against him. He sort of stepped away from Aggie. I think he expects that he'll become the demon at some point. And so they're trying to sort of uh, ostracize the evil players that are obviously evil. And Alex is kind of playing up to it, which I think is pretty, pretty good play. Um, sadly, we can no longer have anyone poisoned. Which means at some point Aggie's going to have to kill Roxy. Probably. And Roxy's going to have to gonna get to take a look at someone. Which could, be, which could be very bad for the evil team. Let's go see who Maggot wants to protect. Hello, Maggot. Hello. Who would you like to protect? Well, before I make my choice, I would just like to state that we are now instilling the Kill All Saints meta into brand new players, which is fun. <laughs> Don't always kill Saints, guys. It can go badly wrong. <laughs> Especially if they're Saints. But... Back to my choice. Uh, I've been thinking if Aggie's a demon and I choose them tonight and they try to kill themselves, that would be funny. <laughs> but do I bother? I will stick with jams. Okay. Jams it is, thank you. Pretty good choice. Um I would probably kill jams if I were Aggie. I think jams is looking increasingly good here. Uh Right, gambling not yet relevant, so we're going to head on over to Aggie. Find out who she wants to kill. Okay, Aggie, it's looking a bit rough out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm in danger, definitely. Uh, I think I will have to kill the probable Raven Keeper, and I'll be honest, gambling hasn't told me what he is, so... I am now hoping that he's a Scarlet Woman, and <laughs> if they execute me tomorrow, which is looking more and more likely, um, we'll be at 7 alive, hopefully, and then he will become the demon and save the day with his chef bluff that he just pulled out of his ass. Um, <laughs> so I think what we've got here is Collie probably soldier, Aleo and Jams, no idea what's going on. Patis, investigator, maybe? Maggot? Possibly Monk? Uh, Roxy just has to be the Raven Keeper, and I feel like if I kill Roxy, then they're just gonna check me and get Imp, and that will just seal my fate. Uh, but I laugh in the face of danger, and that's what I'm gonna do, so uh, Roxy out, please. And um, uh, let's just, fingers crossed, that Cumbling is a Scarlet Woman and can save me. Okay. Roxy it is, thank you. All right, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, Aggie has correctly surmised that Roxy is the Ravenkeeper, and so we now immediately wake her up, and she gets to choose someone and learn what they are. And she's neither drunk nor poisoned, so we must tell her the truth. Roxy, there's only one reason I could possibly be here. You know what that uh, reason is. Who would you I'm like to check? Oh, uh, the problem is I think I'm poisoned anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> But let's go with Patters. Okay, you choose Patters and learn that he is in fact the drunk. Interesting. I could be the drunk. That's true, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. enjoy Thanks. that. Thanks. That's good. Um, that's. I, I mean, it's difficult to know from where I'm standing, but what I've just done sounds like that would sound to me like a lie like if i were roxy in that position i think i must be poisoned or drunk there's no way patters is the drunk um so that could yeah that could be big for evil it could be bad for evil let's go and have a chat with patters <clears throat> all right patters still alive yeah who's it gonna be tonight aggie holly please you choose aggie or holly and you learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. All right. Thank you very much. So I've just given Patters true information there, which you can do to a drunk player. And I've done it because I don't want him to believe that Roxy really learned that he's the drunk. So when she comes out with that, it's going to be it's going to go completely against what, what the narrative is saying. And then perhaps later on we'll stitch somebody else up once Saggy's dead. Okay, that's all for tonight, folks. So, let's wake everybody up.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning! Roxy did not survive the recesses of the evening. Interesting. Mm. Maggot, can we talk, please? Ooh. Okay. Gambling on stock. Rocks. Yes. Uh, yes, on Aggie Holly. I mean, that's not a shot. No. Well, so of the people now, the only people I haven't picked oh. are Self and Alejo. So, right. Right. There was a red herring between Carly Roxy. That seems to make a lot of sense to me. Right. I think Alejo's just a spy. Mm. Couldn't tell you who the other te evil team is. Uh, it doesn't exclude you, but... If yeah, it, I, that I understand. But if it is you, then I've been telling you my information every day, and I've been kept alive either because yeah, you're still not me, died, right? or... Yeah, something weird's happening there. Um, mm. I think I think it'll be easier to get Aggie on the block today because of what happened yes. with Alex yesterday. Um, yeah. So we get to go with that. I'm, I'm, I'm confused about the outsider situation. Yes, very much so. <laughs> because Roxy definitely isn't the outsider. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it has to be a for Holly and gems. One. Well, I had an early claim from Holly, which has now been rejected. That was empath the empath one, right? Because there was a swap, yeah. Okay. And I've been picking jams night three mm. and night four purely based on socials. Okay. I don't actually have much on them. Why are you picking me? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm 50 50 with you at the moment. But... That's crazy. That, I came out day one talking yes. to you. That's crazy. Pat, as you know full well, whenever you're, you're fully trusting of me, you're, that... you're the poisoning. You're poisoning. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's Dude. what's fucking happening. Dude, <laughs> come on. You know full well, whenever you've been evil, you're like, yeah, I trust you. <laughs> all right. Either way, Maggot, you're evil, but I'm glad you've got all my information. Um, that sucks. I mean, you can Bye. think of you have got world. What a conversation. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that was hilarious. That <laughs> What do, you, what, do you, what do you think about that, Maggot? Do you think he's evil, or do you think he just genuinely well, thinks you're evil? Well, I'm thinking more so now, especially where he's not completely willing to understand my choices, for one, and say, oh yeah, you're just definitely the poisoner. Just jumping straight on that grenade, as if you want to call it that. Amazing. Right, I'm going to go listen into him now. And what, if I tell you the truth, it will make you less trust me, so I'm just going to say oh. nothing. No, I feel like you should, because at the moment I don't trust you. You saying that you were the investigator, not who, so that you could pick the two. In All the, right, the last do you want to hear it? You, I'm the you fortune the teller. You're the... Oh no, no, you're not, Patters. I am. No. Is the thing. Oh, Patters, you're not though. I am. So I don't have to tell oh. you. That is the role I've got. Right. Uh, Leo's been. Okay, so I'll give you, you all the information. Yeah. Uh, uh, note one: No, Maggot Madeline. Okay. Night two, yes, Carly Roxy. Night okay. three, no, Gambling Jams. Night four, okay. yes, Aggie Holly. For what it's worth, I don't think it's you. So... No, it's not me. So I think it's just Aggie. <sighs> and possibly, well, but then you've got a yes on on Carly and Roxy as well. But they're, yeah, but they're, uh, there's a red herring, remember? So oh yeah, that's true. That is true. Uh, which could have been either of them. Um... And Roxy, Ro I believe Carly, but that's social. I could also be drunk. I could also be poisoned because Maggot is a potential evil. Uh, okay, and Maggot's you know the what? first person I talked to. Who then That's talked to Alejo and may oh. or may not have told them that I'm the fortune teller. Um, I can't I remember. Don't... The <laughs> thing is, Pat, is this is the kind of move you would do. Like, having played with you a little bit, you do beautiful, bold moves. You try fun, but wild and possibly dangerous things. And... What, oh. like claiming a fortune teller <laughs> in the first conversation and uh, well, sticking and with it? Well, investigator with me and, and having a real, like, telling me that there was a poisoner in play and la la la. Oh, well, I just um, said that because I didn't want to die in the night. Oh, I, I'd rather I, people I, think I, I was in. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk oh, to Alex and make myself look suspicious. Okay, good so. idea. Let's kill you, Patters. <laughs> oh, okay. or, or we kill Aggie, who's definitely evil, because yeah, Alex saved We him. should kill Aggie. We should kill yeah. Aggie. Okay, Aggie is the person we should kill. All Bye. right, I'll see you in town square. Bye bye. That actually works. Um, is that? Did I hear uh, the soft patter of burnished feet? We have okay for for so Ben's benefit. We have hard claim to each other. I have claimed um, which resolves a lot of stuff. Yeah, gambling has claimed um, to be I'm the slayer. 
Um, We've resolved a lot of stuff. Um, I've told about the Chef Zero not being me, which means we have an evil team of exactly Pat as Alex Aggie with Jams being drunk. This Yeah, my, my play here has gone from me claiming to be the fortune teller uh, to try to die in the night to me claiming to be the fortune teller to try not to die in the night uh, because the fact that I'm the saint in a game which should have two outsiders in it and there's no other outsider claims who aren't, you know, obviously um, evil. Um, means that I just have to be good. There is another world that works. I'm slightly worried about Maggot hard claiming Monk and not getting attacked. There is a chance that rather than Alex Patters, sorry, Alex Patters Aggie, it's Aggie Maggot. Oh, I think it's I think it's Aggie Maggot Alex. Oh yes, that's what you said. I yeah, I, I was working on Patters being evil, but that's fine. No, I can now back off Patters being evil because Patters can just be the fortune teller yeah. who did point at Aggie as the demon. Okay, so. After, so it's only taken five days, but we finally resolved the fortune teller double claims. Thank you, Alejo. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. You we have. have. I have. No one else has. Oh. <laughs> Good point. Fine. Yes, I will speak nothing of it. All right. I just won't talk about it. Okay, what could pop Is Alejo Jams. Holly. Uh, it... Welcome oh. back, everybody. Seven living players. Four votes required today. Take a minute to chat, then we'll open nominations. Is there any reason we don't just execute Aggie? Like, yes, it could be Alex trying to throw a good player under the bus, but I think it just happened to be the kill for today, right? Mm. In fairness, if this is because of my voting, um, I wouldn't read into it too much. I think Alejo's hand dropped right <laughs> as I put mine up, so that would have actually put Aggie on the block um, with six. So, um, yeah, but here we are. I will say from my perspective, Alex, when I was watching the voting, it was at least, I don't know, two seconds afterwards you put your hand up. <laughs> Me? As though you knew it was going to tie. I, I did. Causality is a tricky. Like, I yeah, think it might be my, mo my, my, my mobile data and stuff. My internet's oh, slow. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why the game's not over yet, it's lagging. <laughs> Dominations are open. Uh, Powers are nominate, Aggie. Alright, Patters, tell us why. Um, empath information, fortune teller information, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Aggie? I feel like I'm being heavily framed by the evil team, um, and just because I just wanted to save a possible saint yesterday, it was obvious that the evil team wasn't letting that happen. Uh, maybe Alex's theory about being a poison saint actually checks out. I don't know, I have no, no way of checking that, because I'm the mayor, but mayor. apparently everybody wants me dead. So let's go. Okay, four votes required. This isn't the worst kill in the world, especially now. I don't think we're ever going to get a mayor win anyways at this point. In fact, Aggie, in the world where Alex is a poison saint, you are 100% going to be a poison mayor at the end of the game. I was yeah. I think we just need to grab a poisoner and, well, execute them. And according to your information, all the poisoners should be dead, brothers? Oh, I'm not the investigator. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Any other nominations? Well, I'll call things in five seconds, then. I don't want to die. I'll nominate Pyrus back. Okay, tell us why. He's not the investigator he lied to me, and I know people lie in this game, but that was really mean. And uh, also, Paris, explain yourself. Patters, explain yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm voting for that. All right, six to execute, five to tie. I don't know about you guys, but I'm smelling some panic. I also think Patters is incredibly shady, and I think if we should, oh, who's we should always maybe face Patters, Patters tomorrow. No, but I've heard, I've heard Patters' excuses, and, and they're not good. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're not good, but they're, they're funny. One is not enough. <laughs> Aggie still on the block. For hours, I have, I have, na I have resting shady face. So. Yes, that is true. <laughs> and I can see it clearly right now. <laughs> that could totally be like that. Could be like the name of an adorable little English village as well, right? My grandparents <laughs> live in resting shady face. 
And they move on from Ray- when the demon moves on from Ray- Ravenswood Bluff, they're going to 100 percent move on to resting shady face. Yeah, it's where they go on holiday. It's <laughs> where oh, the sea. <laughs> I know, Ben, I think you're confusing Resty Shady Face with Resty Shady Face on C. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <one mistake. laughs> right. Five seconds, guys. All right. So that's it. Aggie is executed and dies. And congratulations to the nobody because we all go to sleep. Good night, everyone. Interesting. Oh. <sighs> <clears throat> So, the more eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that the win condition seems to have been met. The imp slash demon is dead. However, gambling as a minion, the Scarlet Woman's ability reads, If there are five or more players alive and the demon dies, you become the demon! So, uh, gambling has now become the imp. We'll inform him of that in a minute, but I'm sure he already knows. First, we're going to head on over to Maggot. Hello, Maggot. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Who's it going to be? Is it going to be jams again tonight? Do you think? I honestly don't know. Like, if people tell you TV is boring, it bloody isn't. Oh dear. <laughs> Who says TV is boring? I will fight them. I mean, people do. Have you seen like online? Yeah, TV is the the most balanced of all of them. Anyway, who do you want to who do you want to protect tonight? Oh, I've got no good choices. Uh no. Uh tsh- mm. I'm going to just keep it on jams. Okay. <laughs> jams it is, thank you. Alright, gambling for you, opportunity knocks. This is your you are now the imp and you are carrying the blast. evil team. Yeah, no pressure. Um, so, quick thought process uh, roundup here. Uh, I've got something of a fulgrim. The only problems I have is I can't resolve between Maggot and Holly. Um, and Roxy's a blank, but that's fine. Uh, Roxy is confirmed to be good by multiple sources. So the biggest issue I have in this game um, is that I have no earthly idea where the drunk is. <laughs> J- like, Jams uh, has received good chef information. Patters' fortune teller stuff is a little over the place, but I assume he was poisoned at some point. Uh, and I don't know which of Maggot and Holly is actual monk, so eh. Uh, Alejo outing Saint to me is incredibly useful. Thank you, Alejo. Uh, you are a scholar and a gentle person. But at this point, I need to keep as many worlds alive as I can. So the fact that I've openly claimed to be the chef means that people, a smart person might go, oh, well... Maybe Jams is in a double claim, so I'd like to kill Jams, please. Okay, Jams it is. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that is... I don't know how that's going to look, actually, because I think people are quite suspicious of Maggot. Some people might think that he is the imp that attacked a dead player, thus causing no deaths, to support his claim of monk. And it is somewhat suspicious that he's been a monk all this time, but uh, still not dead, so that might not be the worst thing in the world for the evil team, I think. Um, anyway, we've still got a living, uh, drunk Patters, so let's go see him. Alright, Patters, who's it gonna oh, be tonight? Man. I hate this evil team. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's pick... Oh, this is a hard one, actually. Um, gosh. I've not checked Alejo. <sighs> Alejo Maggot. You choose Alejo and Maggot, and you learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so the world we are trying to sell to the drunk patters is that either Maggot or Alejo was the Scarlet Woman who just became the demon. Uh, I'm just saying this out loud so that I remember it, because if we're at a point now where we've given him so much information that if we want him to believe it, we need to remember and remain consistent. Um, we'll see. I think Gamblin is a very, very competent evil player. I reckon he can he can win this, but it's not going to be easy. All right, let's wake everybody up. Good morning, everybody. 
There were no deaths in the night. We are going to run at a merry pace now because we're getting towards the end of the time slot. So you guys have got just two minutes to have some chats and Matt. then we're going to open nominations. Right. Madeline, let's go. All right, Jan, can we talk? Maggot, can we have a chat? I'm going to the assumption that Roxy is the Raven Keeper who's picked me. Uh, hello, Roxy? Yes, I am. Um, not that my information will be very useful. <laughs> Um, Could you tell us what you were, Putters? I am the fortune teller. Okay. Uh, Roxy... Um... I I have seen you as the drunk. Piss. But there is every world where I was probably poisoned. Uh, who is the other outsider? Do we have one? It is possible. Uh, we, have to, we have to have we one. We have to have two. Mm -hmm. so I don't. It can't, and it's not Alex. It's not. It cannot be Alex. I, <laughs> it can. I be. have a claim of an outsider that is not Alex. Is it Alejo? I will neither confirm nor deny. Well, Alejo's double claiming me, so it'd be useful to know if yes. it's Alejo. I trust Alejo. Okay. Um. Right. So my information is no on. So night one, no Madeline Maggot. Night two, yes, Roxy Carly. Night three, no gambling gems. Night four, yes, Aggie Holly. Night five, yes, Maga Alejo. Mm. So <laughs> my alive yes pings like are the dog Holly barking. And... I don't know. Those dogs don't seem to believe you, Paz. <laughs> it's just one dog. I swear. <laughs> That's the info I've got, I'm afraid. Um, if I'm the drunk, then that sucks. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry sorry to break the news. But like I said, there is a high chance if there's a poisoner I was picked the night I died, because <laughs> who kills a raven keeper? <laughs> if, if... So we're pretty sure there's no Baron, so we can rule out Baron. Um, because there's not even close to enough claims of outsiders for that to be true. Um, which leaves us with Spy, Scarlet Woman, Poisoner. It could be Spy, and that's why I'm alive. It could be Spy, Poisoner makes a lot of sense, actually, here. Um, that could make a lot of sense. Spy, Scarlet Woman. I think it's a spy, and I think Alejo's the spy. If Alejo's the only other outsider claim, then there's nothing to be done. Hmm. All right. Although I have a yes. I have a yes on Alejo and Maggot. Uh, it's the game, to be perfectly honest with you, Alex. That's fair. I think that the oh, nice thing is... Right then, gang. Thing. There That's are fair. six of you alive today. Three votes required. Just three. Nominations are open. I will nominate Maggot. There Patters we go. Nominate <laughs> Maggot. Tell us why, Patters. Uh, two monk saves in one game seems um, unlikely. Maggot? Well, I mean, besides from not much of an actual accusation on me myself, it is unlikely that a monk would get a hit twice. It's likely that the first hit wasn't me, and the second one was... Either way, this is a bad choice because I think we are running out of good players and that has was trusting of me and now has decided to switch. Okay. Three votes required. Here we go. I think this would be an exceptionally bad kill. Mm -hmm. You're doing Pat the work of the demon for them. <laughs> Pat has just got rid of Amaya and now he wants to get rid of, rid of Oh him. no, well, I don't think that's true. <laughs> But <laughs> let's, let's not let's not get into his work. Two, two is not enough. Maggot Holly nominates like... Patters. Oh, I that's think what Holly I was, was just there in time. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, guys, do you want to do you want to team up on Patters or do you want to take it yourself, Holly? <laughs> I, 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 I don't mind either way. I think I think with Patters' new story, I'm confused as to why Patters would nominate Maggot, not not Alejo. But I, yeah. So I, that's why I'm confused. I also don't believe Pat's new story. I I think he's been been shady this whole game, but especially yesterday in the conversation with me, and I don't think that nomination of Maggot made sense. 
patters. Uh, it's not a new story. It's the story I've had the entire game. Um, uh, if MAGA is evil, MAGA is known my role the entire game. Uh, and if there's a poisoner in the game, um, based off the information I just received in the conversation, MAGA is very likely a poisoner. Um, I have been seen by the Raven Keeper as a role. Um, that role... Uh, if, if if that role is true, it would confirm me, given the lack of other outsiders we have. Okay. Just three required. Here we go. For what it's worth, I've heard of someone who believes that they're a drunk, which is not this supposed Raven Keeper. I've also heard that the Raven Keeper was possibly poisoned. I was seen uh, by the Potters, Raven Keeper. are you somehow now claiming Saint? No, I'm not claiming Saint. I never said the... Not Saint. Not Saint. Three is enough. <laughs> Pat is on the block. It yeah, I think this is this is a this is for sure a mistake. There's probably an mm -hmm. evil between gambling and Alejo. Um, I would agree. I gambling. Mm -hmm. Who nominates gambling? Sorry, uh, Jams. Jams. Jams, tell us why. Um, I think this is important to rule out worlds right now, specifically. Okay, gambling. I know exactly why you're doing this, Jams. It's because you you want to be the only person on stream to have achieved what I'm hoping to that achieve. That is not true. <laughs> I can hear your smile from here. And we're not even on the same continent. <laughs> okay. Uh, four to execute, three to tie. Uh, for the record, Gambling, I did it in person first. Twice I then. Really I see. Fun. I see how it is. I Are get the picture. Are really missing this? Apparently so. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh. How many were on That is a Potters? dead vote from Carly. I'm, Four is enough. I feel very good about this. This is fine. Um, Alejo nominates Jams. Alejo, tell us why you've chosen Jams. Big question mark on that one, Jams. Jams? <laughs> um, no, not a question mark. I've known your role for like five days. Um... I no, genuinely I think I just miscounted. I was pulling my hand down to not tie, but if three on patterns was a tie, then that's on me for forgetting how math works. Okay. Uh, I think we, gambling being on the block is good. We now need five to execute, four to tie. I happen to agree, but that's a burnt dead vote there from someone who I think is good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Again, fully on me because I miscounted. Carly is yeah. and I'm Honestly, very wait, I'm um, sorry to fine. just okay. Is that that is demon can resolve this in the night and kill jams. That's yeah. fair game. Okay, um, fine. Uh, gambling claims Slayer, and <sighs> Yo, who do I trust? Who do I not trust? Um, I think based on the lifts, I trust that claim. Yeah, fine. Uh, gambling claims Slayer, and would like to shoot Patters. Weapon of choice is harsh words and thorough <laughs> rounds. Okay. <laughs> So you uh, you see Patters walking down the street and you think, now's my chance to literally kill a man using only sarcasm and my eyebrows. And so you uh, you, you sort of like Naruto run at him with your eyebrows down, uh, just saying as many harsh but like polite things, such as like your mother's cooking is terrible or um, your shoes are too big. Uh, but unfortunately, they're only words and eyebrows, so Patters just steps aside and you run into a brick wall. Uh, you did not hit. There was no effect. Gambling, still on the block with four. Any other nominations today? This is fine. Um... Who still has a nomination left? I think I do. Holly? Holly nominated me. I nominated Maggot. We've got Gambling I and Maggot, I believe. Uh, I nominated Patterson, didn't I? No, no, Holly nominated. No, passes. they did. Oh, oh yeah, right. Holly got the fight. Has Holly been nominated? No, not at all. No. All right. Gambling nominates Holly for the sake of, I don't know, completion. Okay. Um, I I trust certain people's claims on this grim. Um, from my perspective, unless I am the floating drunk, which would make me very sad. Uh, Padders is not the demon, uh, which means that, from my perspective, Holly is the only demon left. Okay, Holly. I'm unlikely to still be useful. Uh, I don't think I'm drunk, but I think I've had my use this game. However, I do think I'm probably one of 
a few good players left, so I don't think it's a good idea to kill me. There, there are people in this in this circle who believe me. There are things that have happened in this game which indicate my role has come into play. Okay, four to execute. Sorry, four to tie. Five to execute. <laughs> Look like we're getting it. It's fine. Um, I'm a little worried about Drunk Worlds, but I th think we've got enough executes that we should be able to solve this pretty easily. One is not enough. Telling you, gambling tells us where the drunk is, if the game continues. Yep. yep. Bringing okay. things to a close then in five seconds. Personally, I really hope the game does continue, because that would be very entertaining. Gambling is executed and dies. And I'm very sorry to inform you, Gambling, but the game does not continue. Uh, the demon is dead and the good team has won. Yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> well, well played, everyone. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Well, let me tell you what happened. Um, so we had our uh, one of our two demons, Alejo the Saint, who spent most of the game double claiming... Uh, fortune teller, of course, double suggests two, but I believe at one point we had up to five people claiming fortune tellers. Uh, more on that later. Uh, Holly the soldier, who was kind of, sort of responsible for the first night of no deaths, because Holly was attacked on that night. However, Maggot the monk had also protected her, so it was a it was a double inability to kill there from the I'm demon. So sorry, Maggot. <laughs> uh, the second night when no one died, that was definitely Maggot's handiwork. Protected Yay. Jams, the chef, who learned a zero. There, that was completely legit info. There was no option to say anything but zero. Carly, the empath, began the game sat between the chef and Aggie, our original imp. Got a one a bunch oh. of times and then died. On night one, Alex, the poisoner, quite cleverly said, I should poison one of Aggie's neighbours because one of them might be the empath. But sadly, he chose Maggot instead of Carly, of course. No way of knowing at that point which one was which, but it was sound logic. Uh, we had Jackie the Washerwoman, who correctly identified Roxy as the Raven Keeper, and Aggie killed her in the night because she felt didn't really have much of a choice. Roxy sele selected Patters and learned correctly that Patters was the drunk who had believed he was the fortune teller for most of the game. We had Madeline the Undertaker, who correctly learned that Jackie was the washerwoman before dying. And finally, gambling our Scarlet Woman, who became the imp last night. The demon's bluffs were Recluse, Slayer, and Mayor, and that was Trouble Brewing. So we had no fortune tellers for the whole game. <laughs> there were no fortune tellers, no. <laughs> you! Alejo, I'm so frustrated. With <laughs> I mean, also it didn't matter, but come yeah. on. <laughs> I spent the first half of that game um, claiming to be a fortune teller as the saint uh, so that I didn't get executed. So, yeah, so that I didn't get killed by the... Uh, so that I got killed by the demon in the night. Then after Alex's shenanigans, I spent the second half of that game claiming to be the fortune teller as the saint so that I didn't get killed by the demon at the night because I was pretty much confirmed good. <laughs> I will say, Patters, I even though you were drunk, I think that Alejo's fortune teller claim actually kept you alive for quite a long time. So if you yeah. had been sober, that would have been really, really strong. That too. I wasn't telling anybody I was the fortune teller. Only Maggot knew I was the fortune teller for the majority of the game. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> and I was semi-trusting it until late game. Can I gambling? Did you tell Aggie that I was the empath? I might have done. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> you I did. My done. conversation with gambling was me giving gambling the bluffs, he him being grumpy about it, and then we got dragged into town and never spoke again. I didn't even know his role. That is. <laughs> I mean, I never told. Yes, okay, fine. I never told the Scarlet Woman. Yeah, that's accurate. But I, I, I gave you that. Jams had claimed fortune teller to me give you something to go on. Mm, Alex told me the same thing though, so... <laughs> You're not getting as confused, are you, Aggie? Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no. We, we do sound very similar. And I always know who you are, Gambling. Don't you worry. God bless. I'm sorry, Carly. <laughs> I, the fact that... But, you know, it's a sign of respect that lies, lies and lies, right? Oh, no. No, I, I massively respect it. You were just the first person who specifically told me they would tell me the truth, and then I was just like, ah, bullshit. Like, <laughs> I think I use that line on literally everybody I spoke to. 
But yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. it was it was solid, but I, I saw through you trying to push the drunk away. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was that, that was a serious problem. I Yeah. I, I made the assumption that Padders was the drunk because it was the only where it could place it could fit. But I also didn't know what was going on between Holly and Maggot, and I had both of you as the monk. Um, <laughs> it was rough. I just, Maggot, you've been backing up Padders the entire game. I assume that you'd locked your protection if you were the monk on Padders. I wasn't fully trusting of him, so I hadn't even protected him once. Yeah, really, not oh once. My God. I was protecting Jams after I picked Holly purely on socials. I didn't have you have much information on Jams. So just you, you protected the soldier and the chef. Yeah, not the person who told you the fortune teller. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then swing by at the same time next week because we're going to run another game of Trouble Brewing and then the week after that we'll probably move on to something a little more complicated. But for now, uh, thank you so much for coming hanging and out. Don't forget to... Uh, give Gen Con TV a follow and if you want to see more Blood on the Clock Tower we are going to run another two games of it over on our official channel twitch.tv 